Hi there. Welcome to Daytime, everyone. I'm Cindy Edwards. Lindsay's on vacation today. It is time to get right to the hot topics. And today, Danielle and Lindsay, as I mentioned, they're both on vacation. Jack Harris is hobnobbing with the mayor. So we've got the lovely Corey Dillon from 970 WFLA and Fisher. He's lovely as well from 97X. <laughs> and they are going to weigh in on the very latest. So let's get right to it, shall All we? All right. Thanks for coming Thanks back. Thanks for having us back. Thank it's you. good to have you back. Scientists have made the impossible possible. They made a cylinder disappear by bending light around it. And that's about as technical as I can get. It's still in the early phases, but it's working. And as the technology develops, just think of the possibilities for, for things like the military. So if you could put on the cloak of invisibility, well, I think you always what would you want to do know what people that? are saying about you, right? No, I, mean, no, I would never. not want to know what my friends and even my family are saying I'm about me. I'm not saying me. I'd care, but I think sometimes it can it can help you to have that information. Oh, I think it would just hurt your feelings. Yeah, I really? think you, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What friends you have would not be your friends anymore. <laughs> the friends you, you think you well, have you would definitely not be. You think everyone's talking bad about each other? Oh, yeah. Well, well, because I hope not, but you know. even your closest friends, you know, it's just part of what we do. They get frustrated. What I do, if I had one personally, mm -hmm. I think I just drive around town. <laughs> I would take my little six pound Yorkie and I'd put her on my lap and, and put her on the steering wheel and just drive around town. To make it look like the dog yeah. is driving. And so, and I like that. Go, what? What the? This is just You're just out for laughs. And, day, all, huh? and, and also, <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm no, what about doing good for the world? Okay, on that note, I think I'd also probably streak at every major uh, sporting event in the world and nobody would know but me. Talk well, about what's, freedom. What's the point? Exactly. <laughs> I'm just and amusing myself. <laughs> I would want to help okay. the good guys get the bad guys somehow. Oh, you'd become a spy. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Definitely. Wow. I'm wearing want... my cloak right now, but the batteries wore out before <laughs> you went on. I would want my cloak to be used for good, get rid of the heinous, well, the criminals that know for heinous crimes. I see. Look, for, look yeah. at you. I'm trying to do something oh. positive with this. All right, I won't, go, I won't go yeah. streaking at every major sporting event then. I'll go do something. Yeah. Actually, we'll never be able to afford this even if it ever becomes available <laughs> right. to, wow. to humans. Um, a high school hockey league in Pennsylvania is asking teams to skip the national anthem at hockey games because it takes up too much expensive ice time. Of course, this has caused a bit of a backlash. So is cutting the anthem the best way to cut costs or do we have better ideas for this? I think that's this? crazy. I think it's I fine. I mean, how much time could it possibly take? Five minutes yeah well that's anthem. precious time but I think sports goes with the national anthem they, they're kind of intertwined like this but with that being said um, you don't need the national anthem before every game look growing up here I you know we had uh, football games all day long and pop warmer baseball games you had it at the beginning of the day and then you play I think so, in high school you know that both teams are probably going to be from the same country so you really don't have to play well, the it's anthem just, it's just a matter of formality and it's part of the it's part of the the culture like you said and it's 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 you know, part of the process. So I do understand, but I think uh, what they can do is made it, make it in between periods, kind of like the seventh inning stretch, you know, at a baseball game. Everybody rise between the <laughs> first and second or second and third, and let's belt them out. But it's all about the cost of the ice time. They're trying to cut down on the time they spend in the ring. I can't rink. imagine how much time. I mean, why so, don't we cut down on the fights? Okay, so I, I, I'm awesome. with you on that. <laughs> but maybe they should charge people to come watch. But then would anybody come to watch? Who knows? Yeah, probably. I mean, we had to pay to go to football games. Why not? Hmm? A dollar to go see your kid yeah, play? there you go. Yeah. All right, as more and more couples live together before marriage and travel together as well, it seems the honeymoon has lost much of its significance as a couple's first independent foray into the world at large. So now some couples are taking their friends with them on their honeymoons. No. I don't like this at all. No. I don't like this at all. No. First of all, I do think that, I don't think you need to live with somebody before you marry them, but I do think you need to travel with them because mm -hmm. all I agree. sorts of things come out of the closet, yep. so to speak. It, but it, <laughs> and, and then when you think about uh, the lead, that year leading up to the wedding or the six months and all the stress and all the people that yeah. you have to placate to. True. So this is the moment where you get away from that and it's just you two, you can... You know, in theory, it's a, vacation. In theory, it's a, it's a great start. It should yeah. be a nice level playing field, a nice calm start to your marriage. And the right. more people you add to that group, the higher the chances of drama. It, no matter how good your friends I are. Why would you want to go with your friends no, on a honeymoon? I don't know. I don't I, that's, that's what the bachelorette bachelor parties for. Why get do married? That. If do you don't want to be together. Yeah, do a combined bachelor bachelorette party where you all go out, and that way the guys don't get in too much trouble, and the <laughs> girls don't find out about the guys getting in too much trouble. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys will not no. be doing this. No, no, okay. no, no, no. not together uh, or together. Okay. Of course, this comes from a forty, uh, you know, a single forty-year-old man who's never been married. <laughs> yeah. So don't. But take if my, my friends invited me on their honeymoon, I would not want to go. Right. Okay. My Unless par they were my parents. Joined us for two days on our honeymoon. Really? Is that okay? No. Okay. No. Sorry about that. Unless they paid for it all. Well, well yes, yes, they. Well, no. But I'll explain later. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Well, no. okay. Listen to this. Target, <laughs> Toys R Us, Walmart, Sears, and The Gap are among the retailers that will throw open their doors to deal-hungry consumers Thanksgiving Day. Okay. 
uh, Target enough. opening at 9, Walmart, Toys R Us opening at 8. It's all about the bottom line. I of think course, Kmart's going to be open all day. Some employees are very angry about this, as they should be. Would I, you even go shopping on no. Thanksgiving Day? No, no, but I'm not a Black Friday kind of a gay, guy anyway. So. Right. I just want one holiday at a time. Please. I hear you. I, you know? I, I think, um, at first I liked this. I went, okay, because there's such a rush there in the morning. You're watching videos every single year of people getting, you know, crushed. <laughs> so this will alleviate that pressure. Then we realize, no, that pressure is even worse because people are going to be drinking with their families all day. Oh, let's go. Let's make this thing a party. Come on. And there's going to be even worse going into it. And there'll it, be more so. spending, too, because when you've had a few well, drinks, you, you so tend to spend more. I got Sometimes, a plan. Yeah. You ready? Okay. I'm going to steal an idea from you. Go for it. We're all going to put on our invisibility cloak, <laughs> and we're going to Christmas carol. Whoever's idea this was, you, all right, who's going to make a big bonus off this deal, we're going to come sneak into your room, and she's the ghost of Thanksgiving past, <laughs> and she's the oh. ghost of Christmas or Thanksgiving future, and we'll uh, change your mind. <laughs> I, mean, right. I love shopping as much as the next girl, but I don't want to do it on Thanksgiving. Me neither. I think I we want to take off. a day off or, or more than one. Yeah. Hey, stick around, you two, okay? okay. No. Yes. <laughs> we have more hot topics to come. This time they in include personal details about Fisher here. Oh. Be right back. You don't want to miss it. Look how happy he is. <laughs>